What's up, Divine Feminine? Welcome to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Divine Feminine, with your beautiful heart, your beautiful soul, your beautiful spirit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Divine Feminine. Thank you for tuning in to my channel, it's your girl Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth, because the truth tells me. And if you came to my channel and you're seeking the truth, you shall find the truth here, okay? You may get a confirmation, especially if you're dealing with the karmic he has now, okay? Divine Feminine, are you willing to take that balloon? Are you willing to take that toxic ass balloon from this clown that's coming towards you? Okay. Some of you, this clown may try to rape you. They lie a lot. Okay. Or they may be trying to rape your time. Taking all of your energy. Trying to rape your energy. Divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to rape a divine feminine. I don't like to say it. Now we, we review all bad spirits and we claim all the good spirits okay so don't take everything that's coming in this reading as negative if you see it if you hear it and it's negative this is a warning okay just take it as a warning that these are the items and the people that's coming towards you and the energies that's coming towards you okay divine feminine i don't know why i keep looking i'm looking down at the clock but i need to be looking up here so okay so um, someone may try to rape you, divine feminine. The spirit is saying you're safe. Okay, you're being you're being alerted, you're being aware, told about it. But somebody may try to rape you. Okay, so divine feminine, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. Only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Okay, take it as a, a confirmation. Take it as a warning. That this is the energy coming towards you. Okay. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, ancestors of the highest, brightest white life. Show me the karmic energies coming towards the divine feminine. A greedy clown is coming towards you, divine feminine. That has bisexual tendencies. Ambulance. We have online. We have sexual fantasies. We have they crave your passion. In Divine Feminine, I'm asking you right now to please hit Hit the uh, thumbs up button for me. And also hit the, uh, hold on. I am recording, Big Mouth. Dang. These, these, these kids in these video games, they don't understand how they be sitting there arguing that them motherfucking games can get them a stroke, a heart attack. They really be taking these games serious. I mean, arguing at the people online and all of that shit. Okay, so this person craves your passion. Someone is laughing on how on on online. This greedy clown is laughing online. And boundaries. Okay, so the energy that's coming towards you, divine feminine, is a greedy clown that's laughing. Yeah, this is a, a, a clown. They're watching you online laughing, having sexual fantasies about you. Um, this person has bisexual tendencies. And you set some boundaries with this person. They laughing at your boundaries. I guess they may take you as a joke, this karmic energy, divine them. 
this person was greedy when it came to sex, so you set some boundaries. Yeah, you set boundaries. This person, their sexual fantasies, they, it's, it's all about sex with this person. And they're bisexual. And Jaws is out here. That may be their nickname. They nickname in the bedroom, maybe Jaws. Maybe eating the pussy up, Divine Feminine. Somebody may want, want your Jaws around there. Tell me more about this greedy clown coming towards the line then. They want to spank you, Divine Feminine, or this person you used to ask them to spank you. Ooh. They're dealing with the jealous, ugly karmic. Okay. It's getting others to attack you spiritually. Okay, so Spirit, tell me about the bisexual tendencies. Tell me about the bisexual tendencies of this karmic energy that's coming towards the divine feminine. So you have a, a, a this person is trying to play the victim mentality. Because they have bisexual tendencies and they're falling apart in a heat in like a dog in heat. Somebody's last name could be Briggs. That's feeling you, Divine Feminine. But this person may not be feeling you. They just they feeling you sexually, but not emotionally. And this person is into threesomes too. Okay. Some of these these people who this karmic got to get you to attack you is the, the same person people they have not reason to. Why is online here? Why is online here? Somebody is could be online having the sexual fantasies. They're online. They could be looking at you or they could be watching porn thinking about you. Um... Uh, because you set your, your boundaries and some of these people is they looking online watching watching porn and they laughing at the porn. Some of you some of these motherfuckers is is online laughing at you. Fuck you too, you funny face looking motherfuckers. Fuck you. The joke gonna be on you. You mad because somebody set some boundaries with you? Now now they set boundaries with you, you craving their passion, you're mad. Uh, and this person is, is this karmic energy is having threesomes trying to compare up to your one energy, Divine Feminine. They can't fuck with you. So you the one laughing. Let's laugh. <laughs> they don't know about that powerful ass pussy. Now, I'm, I'm sorry I had to say it like that. If that triggers you, then um, go drink you some coffee or smoke a blunt. I ain't gonna tell you to leave. Just sit your ass over there in the corner and shut up and listen to the message. All right? I love you. But somebody is laughing at you, or you're laughing at them, divine feminine. You laughing because you set some boundaries with jaws. <laughs> and now jaws is up here craving your passion. They want some of that powerful ass pussy, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. And they having threesomes and shit. They, this is some cult shit, okay? Threesomes. Getting others to spiritually attack you. Go so in their ass up in a motherfucking ambulance, okay? <laughs> and they think that because they're doing it online that they're getting away with it. That you don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> We're intuitive. We know what the fuck is going on. Come on now. Mm. <laughs> Come on, tell me what's going on with these karmics that brighten my day, Holy Spirit. What is going on with these karmics? With the sexual fantasies about the divine feminine because they put some sets of boundaries with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh, 
Ooh, this person is selfish. And they're also calling you, filling up your voicemail. They can't, they, they, they have to. They, 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 it's like they can't. <laughs> A karmic feminine. Now, this karmic feminine may be filling up your masculine's voicemail. This karmic feminine could be your masculine sister who's fake. And she don't like you because she's a karmic feminine. And she don't like you because you're not a karmic feminine. Okay, somebody's sister is going to be in the ambulance. And it's some nasty ass sisters that'll do a threesome with her brother. She's nasty. Now this this sister, this fake sister of your masculine's, um, could be calling your masculine. Your masculine could have found out that the sister was fake, okay? And he could have found out that she's a karmic feminine, okay? Some of you, this is a lover. Some of you, this is your your masculine energy sister. Some of you, this is your masculine's um, ex girlfriend or something. That's telling him that she don't want it to be over with him. Now the masculine is telling you he don't want you to leave him. But see, he got with these people and they started attacking you. Or this karmic feminine got with others and started attacking you. Or, okay, she's a karmic. And she's a fake sister. And all she does is smoke weed and call you masculine. Because she's selfish and wants this masculine to do everything for her. Okay. I don't know who that's for, but it's for somebody. This sister wears her hair natural. So she's a sister. Poison. January. Regrets. And reverse. So this sister, she's selfish and she's doing, she's trying to either poison your masculine. If he's her brother or they lied, this masculine lied and said, this this is a sister, but she's not. She's not. She's a fake sister. Now, this could mean she's a sister who's fake when it comes to her brother. Or this could be somebody faking. Saying that they, the masculine sister. And now this masculine is having regrets. Okay. But the sister ain't. Or maybe the masculine. Somebody may not be having no regrets, but it's out there. They got regrets. They may be acting like they don't, but they do. Okay? Something happened in January. Maybe somebody tried to poison somebody in January. They could have tried to poison you in January, Divine Feminine. This sister could have tried to poison you in January, and now she's having regrets. Um, It's a dog energy out here. Somebody could have poisoned your dog. They could have poisoned my dog, the motherfuckers. selfish but they haven't they haven't regrets divine feminine no matter what you're going through or what you're feeling right now and this person is part of the lesbian and gay community and he's getting them motherfuckers and you know i'm not just calling them all you gay and lesbian motherfuckers y'all motherfuckers i'm a motherfucker but this motherfucker is getting these motherfuckers to spiritually attack okay and some of them is having amusement they find they find it funny they think this shit is funny but they don't see that this ambulance is like this Okay, and his ambulance wants to be paid in full. So all of this spiritual shit that they they pulling out, that they think that's an, it's an amusement. Folks from the lesbian and gay community because you expose their asses. God damn, if you from the, if you want to be a part of the community, why the fuck you hiding it? You're being fake. Wrecking people's lives, acting like you're attracted to them and you're really not. That's fake. You're of the devil to do some shit like that. If you want to be in that community, you be in that community. And see, some of you divine feminines, these, these, they're, they, this, they're, they're, it's making me stutter because it's making me mad. They fake ass sister wants to have a sexual encounter with you. The fuck not? I'm strictly dicky. The police is being called. Spirit is saying, time's up. Mm-hmm. Time's up. The police is being called. 
Somebody in the ambulance. Uh huh. Okay. The police and the ambulance is about to be called. It's poison out here. Ambulance. Just like if you guys heard the 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 um the story about Shanquilla Robinson, that kind of hit home with me because I'm a Robinson. Now I don't know if this girl is related to me or not. I hope she's not. I mean, it doesn't make a difference if she is an eight, but that just popped in my head. It's poison out here. It's ambulance out here. Police being called. Time's up. A sexual encounter. Selfish. Getting others to spiritually attack you. And see them, them when when she walked out, when she walked out of, uh, when she started filming, it was like, where y'all bitches at? Where y'all? I don't see nobody naked or is y'all naked or something. It, 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 it was something to do with a sexual encounter. They set that girl up. Okay. But I, this is not her reading, but that just popped in my head. I see the police, the ambulance, poison, um, natural hair, sexual encounter. And those hoes were selfish. And they was jealous of her because she was pretty. Okay. And she had a nice body and they was jealous. And I was like, I don't, none of them looked all fat and out of shape. So what the fuck was they fighting her for? Because she had a social media gathering or something. She was confident in herself and they wasn't. So they, she intimidated them some sort of way. Mm hmm They're demonic. Okay. They could have been jealous of her or somebody could be jealous of you because you wear your natural hair. Somebody could want to poison you because you wear your natural hair. Okay. Here's a beard and a goatee. Tell me something good. Swimming pool. Sexually manipulate you. And a cactus cooler. So here's somebody in your energy, some of you divine feminines. Somebody you're dealing with, a karmic that uh you're dealing with has a beard and a goatee. And they have three cents, and here the sister come out again. Now this sister, oh, oh, okay. So now I see why this sister is fake. She wear fancy nails and gets her tail toes done, her tail. She's an ass. <laughs> this is somebody's sister. Sister. Whose sister is this, Divine Feminine? This sister is, is, they, somebody may call her Jaws. Okay. This is somebody's sister. Or somebody could have a, a, a hmm. It could be a sister out here that's uh, really a man. Walking around with a lace front wig on. Damn. Ooh, somebody's sister really got a, gold, a, a goatee, a beard and a goatee. Now, I got facial hair. I get it. And I don't feel bad about it now because I see a lot of women having weird hairy creature shit. But this... This um, karmic sister wears a lace front wig. They get their nails done and toes done. Hey, I do too. This sister has a demonic force. This sister may live in a building or have a home that has a swimming pool. She may have a cooler full of cactus coolers around the swimming pool in the summertime. And she may play the song, Tell Me Something Good. Okay. So your masculine may have a beard and a goatee. Here's witchcraft out here. Came in, in reverse. <laughs> bitch in reverse. They calling you a bitch, divine feminine. If somebody's fake sister is calling you a bitch because... Your witchcraft ain't working. And you exposed that they was doing hidden sex magic. 
And this ain't no sister. This is somebody who they fooling around with. Here's the uncle here. She ain't a real sister. This is somebody who's saying they related, but they not. Okay. And your masculine can't get a hard on for this karmic. That's why she calling you the bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And see, the funny thing is, this sister was doing sex magic on your man. Now look. You ain't getting hard for her either. See, the thing is, this fake sister who's somebody your masculine is fucking, that ain't really a sister. They could have grew up in the house together. He could be adopted or some shit like that, but they ain't. They ain't they fuck it. Okay. And this this sister put um hidden sex magic on your masculine. This is why your masculine started making you, you know, feel unattractive. Like they are they like they don't want you. They don't want to have sex with you. But it was this sister doing the sex magic, right? She she put some shit in some in a soda or something for your mask. She could have put something in some cactus cooler. Netflix and chill. Newport cigarettes. Tainted love. And pepper spray. With this pepper spray out here, tainted love, and with the police and the ambulance all up in here, somebody set somebody up. Is it a karmic? Uh, you may have to pepper spray somebody to bond feminine, or this karmic. Your masculine could have pepper sprayed her, or she could have uh, pepper sprayed herself and blamed the masculine. They could have been, you know, Netflix and chilling. And the sister, it it could have it could have been some little dumb shit over a cigarette or something. To where this sister end up calling the police over some dumb shit. All because her spell work ain't working. She she can't tell that, so she's calling the police because she mad at herself. Okay. Tell me more about this fake sister. With the fancy nose and the the lace front wig. Smoke cigarettes, Netflix and then chill and drinks cactus cooler. This is somebody's sister. I was wearing lace front wigs in the beginning, but I don't have to. I didn't. I wasn't wearing no wig because I ain't had no hair. I was wearing because I'm lazy and I don't feel like dealing with my hair. That's what that is. It ain't never been for me to wear no wig because I ain't got no hair. Hell no. Never ever 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 ever. You should see my grandsons here. Me and my family, we've always had hair. Always had hair. My sons all have thick, long hair. Okay? All of them. And I just cut my son here. His, you can't even see how long his ponytail would, when I pull his hair up. And my grandson, he is uh, eight years old and his hair is to his ass. And if you don't believe me, you can check out my, my community board. Thick hair in our family is not. Mm -mm. I cut mine before and, and I said I never cut it no more. And it's growing. It's growing again. You know? So, there's a, a fake sister out here who, who don't, you know, she she apparently don't know how to do her own hair. She wears lace front wigs. And again, like I'm saying, everybody that wears lace front wigs, that don't mean that you can't do your hair. It just means like you don't want to do it. You're lazy, you're tired, you don't want to do it. You just slap that motherfucker on and keep going. It don't mean that we ain't got no hair, so get it right now. <clears throat> okay, so tell me more about the karmic energies coming towards the divine feminists. This karmic masculine. So your karmic masculine is coming towards you, divine feminine. 
Oh, I hear the police again. So your karmic masculine is coming towards you with the police. For some of you, they mad because they spell work didn't work. So you have a karmic masculine that's going to try to call the police on this. This karmic masculine, they may use to smoke new course, but they don't. But this, they got a fake sister or this person that's uh, supposedly a sister is fake around him. She could be, you know, coercing this person to try to call the police on you or this masculine have to call the police on this karmic. But see, they're both karmics. That's a funny one still. Somebody is young and dumb. This karmic masculine ain't dope. Or somebody could be dealing with a young and dumb police officer. We have craving a blow job from a peasant loser as a player. Planning an apology in reverse. All of this stuff coming in reverse, okay? Pulling her hair. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> A masculine pulled the karmic's hair and found out it was a lace front wig. <laughs> they didn't apologize. She was giving him a blowjob. <laughs> Ooh, or somebody was giving the police a blowjob. And this police didn't know that this karmic had on the wig. And he liked pulling her hair. Somebody likes pulling hair when they having sex. They like pulling hair when they're giving pleasure. Or getting pleasure. You see, they was they was craving an apology. They was craving a, a blowjob. This karmic masculine. That's young and dumb. <laughs> it's a young and dumb masculine out here. A masculine energy. Now don't don't think that a masculine is a male energy. That's it. And a feminine is a female, okay? Somebody is a, 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 a young and dumb masculine that was craving a, a, a blowjob. He could have got busted by the police. This karmic could have set him up, okay? And there's also the energy of somebody pulling off they, pull off they lace front wig. Divine Feminine, I'm going to stop this reading right here because I'm in 27 minutes. So I will see you in the next reading. If this resonates with you or any part of this resonates with you, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Okay, peace out.